Hi, Ray and Zach. This is Rob from Honesdale. I'm just going to drive by the, a big Jeep and Ram dealer in Scranton just to show you how much inventory they have. Take a look at this. I mean, look at this, Pops. We've been covering the market for literally years, and we have not seen dealer lots this full since, I don't know, pre-pandemic. Like, it is... This clip is going to go on longer than most people realize. There are trucks upon trucks upon trucks. This 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 reminds me of the movie Used Cars when Kurt Russell advertised that we've got miles and miles of used cars. Well, obviously, this CDJR dealer, if they were to advertise we got miles and miles of new vehicles, they wouldn't be kidding. Look at all that. That's crazy. All right, it's not just CDJR that was in Scranton, Pennsylvania. This is now from uh, near Chicago in Indiana, outside of the city there. A Ford dealer, just like rows of vehicles, truly vehicles out the wazoo. We've been talking about it. Go watch our other video. We were talking about floor plan costs just the other day, Dad. The floor plan cost for these miles of trucks is insane. And Dad, truly the market has flipped. Leading up here to the end of the year, these dealers, especially the domestic brands, Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, they cannot sell these vehicles. They are sitting on their lots and they are costing them tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars monthly in interest payments on those vehicles sitting there, something has to give here. And we'll look at some of the data in just a second as well, but I'm blown away seeing these actual clips of what's going on on the ground. Oh yeah, it's, abs it's absolutely insane. You can see we have actual video proof of inventories building up. That doesn't mean it's happening everywhere, but it's happening in enough places. And, and the one thing that has to give, there's only one way dealers know how to get rid of inventory when it builds up. And that's by lowering the prices. That's it. They, they, I mean, they have no other. They have no other avenues to to uh, pursue. So you just keep lowering the damn prices until somebody says yes. And that's ultimately what's going to happen. And I think um, we'll see more of that happening as we go through the remainder of November and into December. Yeah, back at Carriage, we keep track of the quote unquote best finance lease uh, and, and cash incentives every single month. That list in December is going to be absurdly long. We have already seen incentive spend from the various manufacturers, not only the domestics, mm -hmm. but also the import brands, even Toyota and Honda and Hyundai and Kia, material increases uh, in their incentive spend. Now, Dad, let's look yes. at some of the numbers here. So for that dealership in Scranton, Pennsylvania, that was the miles upon miles yes. <laughs> of Ram pickup trucks and Jeep, uh, uh, Jeep vehicles. I found one of those vehicles at that dealership that only 15 days on the market. So this yes. is a brand new 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Reserve 4xE four-wheel drive, your classic $86,000 selling price Jeep Grand Cherokee. Go for it. Well, I mean, who wouldn't want to spend $86,000 on a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Reserve 4xE? Um, yeah, it's only been there 15 days, but we can probably come back 100 days from now, and that same vehicle is going to be there, or maybe even 200 days from now. Let me ask you a question. What do you think the market days supply in Scranton, Pennsylvania, because again, that's where that video came from, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, what do you think the market days supply is for $86,000 4 by e Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Reserves? What do you think it is? Just put a guess. Well, you know, I don't, I, I don't have any idea, but I would guess 386 days. All right, and for those of you that may be unfamiliar, with market days supply. This is an industry metric that everyone, literally everyone in the industry measures, the dealers, the OEMs, everyone in between. Market day supply is how many days it would take to sell all available inventory based on current sales rates. Yes. Dad, there's a 731 <laughs> day supply of the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Reserve 4xE four-wheel drive. 65 of them are for sale within 500 miles of Scranton, Pennsylvania. And the reason we had to go out to 500 miles, Dad, is because you go within 100 miles, there's not enough of them. There have only been four sales within 500 miles of this one in the last 45 days. Your daily selling rate based on, and then you know, uh, uh, juxtaposed with how many are for sale, leads you to a 731 day supply so, of these vehicles. So no if, wonder. Yeah, if, if all these dealers in that 500 mile radius didn't get another one of these vehicles in, it would take them 731 days to exhaust the supply that they have. And the supply they that they have is only 65 vehicles, okay? There's... 
there's no market for these vehicles. There's no market for for eighty six thousand dollar Jeeps. Now, what do you do if that is your market? Well, I, I guess what you do is you lower the damn price. That that eighty six thousand uh, dollar Jeep, I guess, with incentives and with government incentives. You know, my guess is that you should probably be looking at somewhere between 20 and 25 percent off when you utilize all of the incentives. And that might get somebody interested. Might. Capital M on that might. It still might sit there and that'll continue to force the hand of both the dealer and the OEM to move that piece of metal. And to your point earlier, the only way to do that is by lowering the price. Now, Dad, we've got a 2024 Ram 1500 pickup, the Bighorn Lone Star Edition. Dad, this is only a 56-ish thousand dollar vehicle, called $60,000 vehicle, been on the market for 66 days. Scranton, PA, same dealer. What do you think the market day's supply for one of the most popular full-size pickup trucks in the United States of America is right now? Healthy day's supply, folks. For context, sixty to one hundred and twenty days. That's that's like a, a good range. I'm I'm going to stick with my three hundred and eighty six days. All right. So here's a little bit of uh, a breath of fresh air. Only a two hundred and seventy three <laughs> day supply. Uh, yes. Of the twenty twenty four Ram fifteen hundred six hundred and forty eight of them for sale within a hundred miles. Now, now we don't have to go out as, as far to get something statistically significant within a hundred miles of this dealership. Six hundred and forty eight for sale. Yet only forty. Excuse me. One hundred and seven have sold in the past. 45 days. They are not moving quickly. That is for sure. You know what would be interesting? And, and and I know you don't have it. Maybe you do have it set up. I don't know. But if if you had done the same thing for this dealership with their brand new 2023 inventory and perhaps even some brand new 2022s that they might be sitting on, just, just a wild ass guess here that I bet you they got plenty of both. All right, so you're thinking maybe the 2023s have an even greater day's supply. We found one, same trim, the Bighorn Lone Star. Let's take a quick peek. Only a 92. Scroll back up for one second. That truck's been on their lot for 305 days. 305. Let 305 days. Okay, that's 10 months. It's been there. The day supply for the 23s is only 92, Dad. So it seems like they're moving more quickly, probably bigger incentives trying to get them off their lots. And I bet you there are less actually being listed as new now because obviously the model year turnover, no matter how you slice it, not great, uh, not great data from uh, the Scranton PA area. No. The other video, Dad, the Ford video came from a county outside of uh, about a, a suburb outside of the uh, uh, city of Chicago okay. in Indiana. Yeah, we've got a 2023 Ford F-150 XLT. 259 days on this dealer's lot. You got a sense of what the day's supply of this is looking like outside of Chicago? Um, I'm, I'm sticking with 386 days. I, I think I, apparently it's not a magic number. 189 days. So there you go. The Ford F-150 starting to move a little bit, maybe. Still, 189 days is way too high. It's why we're seeing the video clips that we're seeing. The total for sale, 1,387. The total that have sold in the last 45 days, only 330 one. You know, and over the past three years, what manufacturers have learned is that the optimum day supply that they would like their dealers to have is 45 to 60 days. In the old days, it used to be a 90 day supply and dealerships would start getting worried if any of the vehicles were sitting on the lot longer than 90 days. They're sitting on 189 day supply. So legitimately, that is, after what we've learned post COVID, that is three times the normal day supply that that the manufacturers and the dealers have determined would be optimal. Three times. So it it just shows that inventories are building up. The public is not as enthralled and as enticed as they had been in the past to buy 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 thousand dollar pickup trucks. And at this point, they'd rather see them parked at their dealer's lot than in their own driveways. And again, go watch our floor plan video to understand why the dealers have a motivating force to actually move on from this inventory. All right, a quick call to action to the community. 
If you can pull out your phone when you're driving down dealership row, please take videos. If there is inventory, isn't inventory, caredge.com slash community. Come share that video back with the community. We'll likely use it in a follow-up video and of course, give you credit where credit is due. We are looking for as many insights as we can possibly get heading into the year end so that we can help people make informed decisions to negotiate really good deals at the end of 2023. Inventory is building up. The market has flipped. Send that information to us so that we can document it and share it with the rest of the world and hopefully help some of these dealers move some of these cars at ideally dad well below invoice price we because we're all sitting on their lots we, we we can make it mutually beneficial for the customer and the dealer 